Hello, I'm Sally with Local Church Publishing. You can find us online at kjv.com. Today, I'd like to give you a tutorial on how to create the simple Christmas offering envelope in Word. So let's get started. You need to start with a blank document, go to Layout, Size, More Paper Sizes, and we're going to start with 6.5 by 3 inches. This is the size of offering envelope we print for most of our customers. It fits bills and checks without folding and fits perfectly into most pew racks. But since a six and three quarter is a pretty common size for envelope and it might be something you have on your shelf, we'll use that today. So that's 6.5 by 3.625. And as you can see, there's a one inch margin. So we're gonna go to margins, custom margins, and change it to 0.125. Control C copies and Control V pastes. Click OK. And now we have a smaller margin. We can fit more on the envelope. So we're going to insert that picture, insert, pictures, and here's that picture we're going to use, insert. And it places it on the envelope and we just need to drag and resize. And one thing to keep in mind, if you're going to print this on your desktop printer, you're going to have this white edge all the way around your envelope and that's because most desktop printers cannot print to the edge or full bleed. Um, so keep that in mind when you're setting it up. Now as you can see I'm clicking and dragging and this image won't move. Um, so click this layout options tab behind text and now it's not constrained to stay within the margins. Now that we have our image where we want it's time to insert the first text box. Insert text box, draw text box, click and drag and release to draw the text box. Now type in your text, my Christmas gift, and the font I chose is a Google font called Spicy Rice. You can find that on Google Fonts. We'll put a link to it in the description. And we're going to use uh, 30 point text and make it whatever color you would like. Uh, text boxes automatically come with an outline and a fill, and we don't want that. So right-click on the outline, right-click, and then it brings up this box. Click outline, no outline, fill, no fill. Now we got rid of that outline and fill. Now we need to draw our second text box. So go up to insert again, insert text box, draw text box, and click and drag again. And again, there's that outline and fill. So right click and then fill, no fill, outline, no outline. And then put an amount and a dollar sign. And we're going to use red again for this and um, 16 point text. And you can use whatever font you would like. Now there are two options when adding the lines to your offering envelope. You can use the dash key um, or the underscore key. It's found after the zero on the keyboard. Hit shift and that dash key. This will add small segments of a line. This is not the best way to add lines to your offering envelope and I'll show you why. This envelope's been set up using that uh, underscore key to make all the lines. And as you can see, the ends do not line up. It's all jagged. Um, you cannot make them line up. If you add a segment, now it goes too long. And if you backspace it, it's too short. No matter what you do, these lines will not line up. Another reason this is not the best option to add lines to your offering envelope is because you cannot control the thickness or the weight of the lines. So I'll show you the best way to add the lines to your offering envelope in a little bit. All right, back to our project. We're going to copy and paste this last uh, text box. Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and then change it to date, and then change the font size to 12, and then resize the box a little bit. And then we'll copy and paste this as many times as we need to get all the lines of information we want on our envelope. Control C copy and Control V paste. There's two ways to add city, state, and zip. You can use the tab key to space out the words, 
or you can uh, use a slash between the words. And that's probably the best because you just have to add one line after it. Phone. And then I think the last one will be email. All right, now we need to line these all up. Click on one, hold shift, and click on each other one. And it will group them all together. And then you can find the align tab on, on two different places. You can find it on the shapes format tab and then also layout. So click align, align left, and that lines them up really nicely. And you can move them around with the arrow keys. And then I want to line it up with that top line of text. So I'm gonna select that one too. Hold shift and click it, align, align left again. All right, and another thing that's available on that align tab is distribute. So we're gonna select those again, align, distribute vertically. But I don't like the spacing between them, so I'm gonna uh, move some of them down and then we'll distribute them again. I want that line, the last line to be lower. And it's gonna distribute them evenly between the top and the bottom. Another great tool to use when designing anything in Word is the Selection Pane. It's available on the Layout tab. With the Selection Pane, you can easily label elements that you have on your layout and quickly and easily select them directly from the Selection Pane. This is especially useful when you have multiple elements overlapping or when you're using small elements like a line. Because the lines are so thin, they're very hard to select with the mouse. So selecting them with the Selection Pane and using the arrow keys to move them around on the screen makes things very easy. It's time to add lines to the envelope. Insert, Shapes, Line. Click and drag and release to draw a line. It's very easy to draw a line that's not perfectly horizontal. So in order to draw a perfectly horizontal line, hold Shift while you drag and it will lock it into place. And the line starts out as blue, so click shape outline and change it to red and change the weight to one. Add all the lines to your offering envelope by copying and pasting them with control C and control V. Make sure to label them in the selection pane as you add them. Move them around using the arrow keys as it is difficult to grab and move them with the mouse. This is why the selection pane is a great tool. To change the length of the line, click the connector at the end and hold shift as you drag to your desired length. Use the arrow keys to move the lines to approximately where you want them. Don't spend too much time on it. We're gonna align them next. Align the lines like we did with the text boxes. Select each line from the selection pane while holding control. Go up to Layout, Align, Align Right, and move around with your arrow keys. Adjust the line length on the left side to start just after the text. Select the line, grab the connector, and hold Shift as you drag. Do this for each line. Distribute the lines just as you did for the text boxes. Select them from the selection pane while holding control, align, distribute vertically. And there you have it, the finished envelope. Now you can either print on your desktop printer or you can send it to us and we can print it for you. Click file, print, and choose the desktop printer you'd like to print with. As you can see, it displays this white margin all the way around the envelope. If you would like full bleed printing, print to a Microsoft PDF, save, and email it to us at sales at kjv.com. Be sure to save your envelope so you don't lose it. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial for how to create this simple Christmas offering envelope. If you liked it, please share. Check out our website for some of our Christmas products. Have a great day and God bless.